Okay, welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. And what we're going to be having a look at today is this activity looking at creating a component that has some symmetry to it. The idea being that we can use our mirror tool to speed up the way that we um, model a product. So this is what we're going to get into and we'll have a go at seeing how we can go around modeling this product. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, and if there's any comments as you're going through, please chuck them in the comment section and I'll get back to you if you've got any questions you want to ask. Um, let's jump into this and let's have a go at modeling it then. So we're going to open up a new tab on uh, SolidWorks to model in a new modeling area. Now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that front section and model the bottom base of this component. So I'm going to start on the front plane. And then I'm going to start a sketch on that front plane. Now from the origin, I'm going to create two circles to get the, uh, sort of the mound section in the middle of the component. So I'm going to sketch into here, and that will allow me to create a step down. Let's do it the other way. So create a line across, up, and across to connect to that component, like so. So we've stepped that in. Now I want this line here to be aligned with my origin, so I'm just going to shift that up. I clicked in, clicking both points and making them horizontally aligned. And from there, then, if I set a center line up to so my top circle here, I can model in some sizes. So let's go from the origin out to this edge. That's going to be 40 mil out, like so. OK, my two circles. My outside circle here is going to be a 40 mil diameter. And my inside circle here is going to be a 20 mil diameter. Okay, like so. Now, with this, I've just realized I must attach that to the outside circle. We needed to attach that to the inside circle. So I step that up from there. Connect into the inside circle like so. And from here, I'm going to step up a section and across to this outside circle. Now the thickness of this here is going to be 8 mil. And the thickness of this bottom section here is going to be 2.5 mil. Now I want to set how far out this line is going to be. So if I go from there to my center line, the distance is going to be 16 millimeters out from that center position. So that's given us a shape around to halfway, um, so half of my shape here, which has got the out, uh, outer edge, the outer stretched arm, and this hump in here. So I'm going to trim this back. Now I could model this without trimming it, I'm just going to neaten it up for us so that we can trim some of this section back. And I don't want that line there either, okay, just so we can see that shape a bit clearer. Now I do also need to join up that top end as well. So I can do that there. Now I can extrude this, so I go to Features, Extrude. Now it keeps, uh, what I would like to do is keep my origin in the center of my model. Oh, it's not picking up. No fin feature, there we go. Keep my origin in the center of my model. So to do that, I need to extrude about the mid plane so I'm going both ways okay that means as well I want to know that size that I'm going to extrude by uh, and that is going to be 60 millimeters so if I change that size there to 60 that'll take it backwards now 
It's going to do 30 forwards and 30 backwards if I'm extruding by 60. So it's going to go 30 mil each way. Tick off. And there we go. We've got that side. Now I'm going to mirror this across so I've got my whole base section to this model. So if I use the mirror tool in features, now here I've got two options. I can either select the face, which I want to mirror around, which could be that one, because it'll create the opposite face there. Or if I drop down my features here, my design tree here, I could use the right plane because it sits in exactly the same position. Okay, so I could use the right plane as well. In this case, it doesn't matter too much. The only issue with using a face is if we move that face or, edit or get rid of that face, we could have an issue in terms of the parametric modeling process. So it's sometimes better practice to use the plane. So I've used that plane. I need to select the model in the second part. So I can either click on the model or click on the feature in the design tree. And if I'm happy with the preview, which will show a full preview at the bottom as long as it's ticked, we can get the other half of our base. So we've got the base in place. I'm now going to start from the top and work my way down. So I want to create the bit that's going to stick up. And I'm going to do that as a circle. So if I go to my sketch, I'm going to sketch on this face here. So sketch on there. And I'm going to create a circle from my origin. And bring that out. Now you're going to say, but you're not drawing it in the right place. You're drawing it here. Well, we'll deal with that in a second. And I'll show you how we're going to deal with that. I'm going to draw a second circle, like so. Um, so I know how far that uh, circle is going to go down in the middle. In fact, I'll leave it as one for now. And I'll add in the cut through in a bit. OK, so we've got that circle. And I want to know how, f how wide it's going to be and how far down it's going to be. So the diameter of that circle is going to be 45. So here I can set my 45 diameter, which we can see there. Okay. Now if I go to extrude, features extrude, it's going to make that come up from that position. So it's going to fill in underneath that U shape there. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do, rather than extrude from that position, I'm going to select where I'm going to start my extrude from. And I'm going to go uh, an offset. And I know the maximum height from this base of my extrude is 37 up. So I'm going to offset it by 37. OK, so if you see there, it's now 37 up. So that's where I want my extrude to start. I want it to come down. So I'm going to flip the direction in which I am projecting my extrude. Now, rather than going blind, I'm going to extrude up to a body. And I'm going to click my body here. So it's going to extrude up to the body of that object and tick like so. And we should add that in there. OK, and now it's not coming through the bottom. It's just come up to that component. Now, if I go to the top of here, sketch. Now what I'm going to do is add it in the features to cut out that section that I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to draw a center line from this top of my model down to the bottom of my model, across. And I'm going to offset that. Now it's 9.5 wide. So if I put 9.5 in there, It's going to give me 9.5 out that way and 9.5 out that way. So rather than having it at 9.5 each way, if I divide that by 2, take, and we'll get the, the 4.75 milli for that model. Right, so from there then, I am going to um, uh, cut that down into my model. As long as I, I top off these bottom and top edges. So I'm going to top off there and to top off here, like so. That just closes that component. That closes that component. You can tell it's closed because it goes shaded. 
So it closes that component up. Let's give you a better view. And it means I can cut that down. So let's go to features. Let's go to cut. I'm going to take that down 30 mil. Tick there. And that gives us that cut in, like so. Now you also have a circle going through the middle of here. So very again, sketch on this top plane. Create a circle from the origin. And this circle that I want to create is going to be 20 mil diameter. Ooh, not a second circle. I want it the dimension tool. Smart dimension. Let's get that to 20 mil. And I'm going to features and I'm going to cut that straight through my model. So I'm going to go all the way through and tick there, like so. Now I've got that through, what I can now concentrate on doing is taking off the edges and adding my holes in and rounding off my corners. So I could do this all on one side so it makes it easier when I mirror it across in a minute. So I'm just going to do the editing on one side of the component and mirror them across the features. So start on this top plane, sketch. I'm going to take this arc around there and I'm going to convert it to a line. So I've got that arc in. And then I'm going to take a line and place that in. Now I want that line to be vertical and I'm going to get an offset from the center here out to that line, which is going to be 16. And that allows me to remove that area from this side. So features, cut. And it's going to allow me to cut that section. So I'm going to go to contours. I'm going to take the fin feature off. I'm going to take that section down. And I want it to go down 16 millimeters on one side. OK, like so. Now I can come to the base, sketch on the base. And I'm going to create, um, sorry, let's create the fillets first. So I'm going to exit that sketch, discard, go to features, and I'm going to fill off these corners. They're 10 mil each, so I've got it preset at 10, and I'm just going to round each of them corners off on all four corners of that base, like so, and tick. Now I've got them fillets in place, I can use them to help me do the cut throughs to the circle. So I'm going to sketch on that top place now. I can go to circle, find the fillet, move up from the fillet, and it should highlight the center of this circle. There we go. Just click on the center and pull that circle out. I'm going to do the same at the top as well hover over the edge, move in, click the center, and pull it out. I'm going to set that size of that circle. It's going to be 10 mil, like so. And I want the other one to be exactly the same. So I'm just going to click both circles, make them equal to each other. And you'll see they've now defined by going black. Now I'm going to cut them through. So features and cut. So I'm going to cut them through down under through the base. So I tick there, just blind. As long as it's more than that face, it's fine. Um, and what I also want to do is put a rib in this side here. So in the sketch tool, I'm going to pick up that front plane. And this is why I want the origin in the middle of the beginning. So I've got my front plane running through my model. Sketch on there. I'm going to take a line from this face here out to the edge okay now that line is going to be from here to there from here to the top of the base 14 mil high now that gives me a line that i can use to create a rib so if we go to features and the rib tool the features here it's going to give me a distance in which it's going to try and create a line there so 
I want that to be 5 mil, not 10. So change that to 5, so it's a thin rib. Now you'll see the material arrow is pointing up, so it's trying to make it go that way. If I flip the direction of that, flip material side, so it's pointing down into my model, it will now add the material down towards the model. If I tick there, it creates a rib. Now if we were to try just extruding that outwards, it would not wrap around this circular face. So you have to use a rib tool to get it to wrap around that circular face. Or else you've got to extend your extrude into the model um, and create it that way. Right, so we've got them features onto here, so I'm going to mirror them across. So let's mirror. And we're going to mirror across my right plane. Now there's no face in the middle there to mirror across, so I had to select plane. And then I'm going to mirror these features. So the circles, the rib, and that cut out across to the other side and tick. So now they are all on the other side as well. Finally, to finish this off, I'm going to sketch on this face a circle to cut through. So I'm just going to draw a center line from the top of here down to there. At 16 milli high, that section, I want it 8 milli. So in the center of that center line is perfectly the right height. I want the circle 6 milli diameter. So if I change that to 6 and tick there. That creates the right size circle that I can now cut through. So I go to features, cut extrude. And I want that to go all the way through my model. So out the other side and tick there. And we've got that component completed. So that's just running through how we would go around using the mirror tool to help us speed up that um, method of creating a model um, that may be slightly more advanced, that we have quite a few little features on that we can mirror across because there's well quite a lot of symmetry to it. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed that tutorial, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any comments or anything you'd like us to have a look at in the future, um, uh, please feel free to leave that in the comments and I will look at seeing how we can support you in the future. Bye for now.